Do you think you have a flawless skin? If you don't, then don't worry because I'm here to tell you 10 tips on how to transform yourself to a flawless skin person. For those who are new, my name is Maureen. I run a cosmetics shop and I help women transform themselves into beauties. I'm also a makeup artist. When you have a flawless skin, there is that self-confidence you always have with you. There is that feeling. One with a beautiful skin, they'll never judge you or anything. There is the way you feel so confident among your peers. It is very important for a lady to have a nice skin. Tip number one on how to achieve a nice flawless skin. Always wash your always bathe wash your face in the morning and in the evening at least twice a day this is like common knowledge but some people still feel lazy don't know how important it is then another second tip tip number two yeah always try to get a cleansing soap whenever you're shopping for bathing soap Try to get soap that has some cleansing chemicals, some cleansing agents. Be that's ex uh, especially for those with oily skins. You need to get a soap that removes all the that all the bacteria, all the oils that could clog inside your skin, because the skin is an organ, like any other body organs. Then tip number three. Tip number three. Know your skin type. There are very many skin types. There is oily skin, normal skin, the sensitive skin, the dry skin, the, the, the skin that has both, like both oily and dry, like some parts of the skin, like this side is dry, here it's oily, something like that. Always know your skin type. Once you know your skin type, it's easy for you to get to know which cosmetics to use and which cosmetics not to use. Always know the ingredients used in your skin uh, cosmetics because if you have a sensitive skin, of course you'll need uh, you'll need to know which ingredients you're allergic to. If you have an oily skin, you don't need oily cosmetics like jelly. No, it will increase the problem if because oily skins always are prone to acne. So when you have that oily skin and you're using jelly-like uh, cosmetics, then it's going to increase the problem, not solving it. Always change your pillowcases at least twice a week because uh, your pillowcase, you bathe, let's say you're from bathing in the evening and you're going to sleep, but there is that dirt that was there yesterday and the other day. So at least always change your pillowcases twice a week. Tip number six, avoid uh, hair oils in your face because sometimes the oils we put in our hair, they are not so good to our face, our skin. So uh, we always do this whenever we comb, like uh, combing your hair. Okay, bringing your hair like half in the face, something like that. The ladies. Try to always keep your hair out of your face because hair oils also cause acne. Hair oils always cause, uh, sometimes they cause sensitivity to the skin. They, they cause allergies to the skin. So try to keep your hair out of your face. This brings us to tip number seven. Yes. Try to exfoliate your, your skin. Exfoliate your face. Have a skin routine at least twice a month scrub your skin get a nice face scrub scrub your face uh, you can also try masking if you need the video about the skin routine you can comment down below and I'll be able to give you tips on how to do the skin routine or how I do my skin routine uh, tip number eight hydrate yourself ladies this I'm always I don't like drinking water. <laughs> I'm always lazy to drink water, but it's very 
very important to keep yourself hydrated at least drink two liters of water a day at least two it always helps it never disappoints but this doesn't work like one week or two weeks no you have to be patient you can see results like in six months and those results are not always noticeable because the result makes your skin glow makes your skin glow you know uh, eat enough fruits I'm going to combine these two eat enough fruits and always try to get enough sleep ladies getting enough uh, enough sleep helps you not to get wrinkles too early yes so eat fruits and sleep at least early at least for eight hours yeah ah uh, this brings me to tip number 10 but not the least because i have a bonus tip for you number 10 try to protect your skin the skin is a very soft organ it needs to be protected some clients always reach me and they confess they use washing detergents on their skin can you imagine what you what, what do you expect washing detergent on your skin no at least use the cheapest bathing soap it may not be so uh, resultful but it's at least gentle on your skin protect your skin from direct sunlight protect your skin from harsh detergents harsh cos cosmetics harsh just protect your skin from harshness a bonus tip Lady. ladies this last tip is very very important try to get a bottle like something like this this so at least for it there are some oils where you you have to dip your finger and then you smear then you apply try to get rid of that get yourself a bottle this is not the bottle that my smearing oil comes with it's a bottle I try to get uh, to put my smearing oil so try to get something you can you can use without dipping your finger in the oil because you can't trust your hands hands always carry germs always carry bacteria bacteria that can cause infection <laughs>